Right, there we go. Finally, uh, now let's make sure that I do this right. Switch that again and switch back on. Please. There we go. Now we will. We'll just continue from where I last left it. Uh, so, yeah. In case you missed it, uh, last time we went through the Sky Temple and we made it to Castle Hyrule. So. Hmm. They're expecting us to go beneath the, the chasms there, uh, so yeah. Link, is that really you? When did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I have been waiting. I've been on watch duty here this whole time, and I didn't see you at all. I've really got to get serious about my training. Captain Host doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? We should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the, the, the lower gates. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. Yeah, I bet he will be surprised. If he isn't involved into this. Hi. Huh? What? You scared me. What are you doing at a place like this? The rural castle. Chasm is nearby. It's dangerous, you know? Oh, great, I did spell Chasm right. <laughs> For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. It's say most things are dangerous these days. What's up with the upheaval? What's your back? Hashtag Lurk. Lurk away, Mr. Fox. Thanks for being here. Chasm? More like chasms. You know, the creepy openings in the ground. Ever since the upheaval, they're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of the lookout landing. I heard that members from the research team went rooting around in some and ended up in a bad way. It's the best to steer clear. I'm glad my researching spies and the chasms Hmm? You mean, like the one right here? When the shrines appeared, it caused such commotion that they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. With smack on the front page, you know? Ah, so far we know they're from the age of the legends, but did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just what are they? Anyway, aside from the shrine, we also got a, the chasms, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all of the things that sprung up to, to the upheaval. But the shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, which could be scary. So we need to investigate them pronto. <laughs> the people from the search party are putting in long hours at her old castle. So I intend to do the same. Yep. I'm gonna be here for a few hours. That's for sure. I hope I'm not gonna spend those hours all in the same shrine, but hey, whatever. Combat training. This shouldn't be hard. I mean, after all, it is just the, basically the first shrine on the ground. So, the shrine purifies the ancient evil who will have entered here. Heed my instruction. 
Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Yes, yeah, so a first, first dungeon, <laughs> indeed. Uh, strafe and then jump. Okay, good. So we target, and then we can. Yup. Do a backflip to create, to avoid enemies' attacks and create an opening. Okay, good. I'm not doing any damage. Well, so isn't he. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield just at the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's good. Good to know. Uh oh, no, not the. Um, let's put the camera for this. Build up your power, then release it. To unleash a charge attack, cast your enemies into oblivion. <laughs> Press and hold, and then release. Yeah, okay. I, I knew that one. Um, problem is these these weapons don't really do anything. So yeah. Oh well. Hey, at least I defeated it. Your master of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. Well, it... Kind of is way easier if you have been... Been doing multiple dungeons already and now they put you here. Hey Oracle, how are you? It's great to see you. Uh, Can I create double shields somehow? Is that even possible? Yes, it is. It's perfectly possible. These new mechanics and, and yeah. Doing good. Oh no. Oh no, that's bad news. Will you go and see the doctors about it? Visitors to the Shrine of Light. That will imprison. You have done well to reach this place. Bloody bloody blah. I'm just gonna skip it. We're just gonna get another energy thingy. There we go. The light of blessing. Grant you the strength you seek. I'm mm, sure it will. Sure it will grant me another heart. I'm sure you know this by now. 
It's like he's been banned everywhere. Oh. <laughs> you mean the person fractured? Oh. I thought you had an injury. <laughs> I'm sorry, Orko. <laughs> that's why I couldn't follow. Yeah, but I I've not seen him around. Um, but on my channel, well, I I rarely saw him on my channel. Um. So yeah, I'm, I'm not too worried about banning him or something like that, but yeah. Still kinda sad though, I mean... On the internet of all places, and don't make a fuss. Fracture? Yeah, I know. I know who you are talking about now. <clears throat> like as soon as you said that you had problems, oh well, well the the band thing is what uh, made me believe that. <laughs> huh? Who's there? Hey, this area is off limit. Well, we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can just wander in here like that. Link? Is that you? And I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't need to serve the party anymore? Huh? You should go and talk to Captain Haas. He's leading search efforts from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. Right. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, I mean, uh, gas prices are a flipping expense. Um, but yeah, still, I mean, it's, it's sad to hear that it, it happened to you. We'll get close to your happy then. I think you were married. Or at least have a... Uh, a boyfriend. You weren't able to pay them since January. Oh god. That's not good. We've turned up nothing in here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. Huh. You're spitting image of Link. I bet if Captain Hulse saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. But is that the gatehouse or was it the one thingy below here? Spirit, no third person yet. Oh, 
can allow a new one past here. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search of Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Haas. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. He should be in the first case house up at the end of this road. Yeah, sure. I have. Uh, I don't care. I am. Yeah, yeah, I don't care where he should be. I'm going in anyway. Even if I have to break the game. Oh. Well, <laughs> that's awkward. Okay. Guess we're not breaking in anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh God. It's like there's so many things they didn't thought of, but that, oh no. They, they thought that really true. They were like, hey, how many gamers are just gonna be like, oh, let's just skip the gate and the court. And they went, well, based on the events of, of what happened before, probably way too many people are going to do that. There's something down there. It's probably a Korok puzzle, but... least can I go in here to look for thingies traveler shields um hmm. now, let's see ah well I can merge those two together <laughs> Storm outside. Oh, 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 no, 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 go indoors. I know what that thing is. It's a sign that I'm going to be hit by lightning. <laughs> So we do none, none, and then with this bow we go, uh, oh, there we go, I should be able to run outside. Remember everyone talking about the Legend of Zelda when I was little? Is this game the same game series hmm well <laughs> I mean sort of question mark because I, I know what you mean um to be honest, I, I think it's more like um, the same franchise, the the same franchise spirit that is going on. Um, like we're still going after Princess Zelda each time. Um, we we still have to get the master sword each time um but to be honest i think breath of the wild and this game are more apart from each other um big be because well um 
Yeah, it's the same franchise. Exactly, but... Like... <sighs> the, the stories basically do have an end. To some certain extent. Especially... Um, the stories from the past, like, um, you got Windmaker, um, you have, uh, Ocarina of Time, um, like, like, those were games on, on their own, like, also set within the same franchise, so you, you do have those returning characters, you do have the same background stories to everything connected like in that way yes they're all like main series games um but to be honest i think they definitely um this chasm is nearless uh personally i want to hit the bottom of any nearless bottomless run, even though it does that catch me so yeah, it's kind of difficult because like each, each story has its own period in time. Um, and in th Nintendo does make it clear that these are main series games um, because they per console that they bring out. I think there was one console that they skipped. They didn't make uh, a Zelda game for it. So now, of course, with the OLED and being like some may maybe maybe next year, maybe and this year, maybe in two years, who knows how production runs. They there will be a new upgrade to the Switch as well to the Switch system. Um, but like yeah they, they do intend to bring like one main game series of link games on there it's like within the Zelda franchise so yeah kind of like the dark parables franchise there were two offshoot games that were standalone but within the franchise yeah exactly like it, it's not like um like Pokemon, for example, um, uh. where it's clear like this is a main games, and then you get uh, the spin-off games, uh, like Pokemon Ranger, like Pokemon Dungeon is in there. Those are all set within the Pokemon world with those characters, but they're completely different from like the main games. Of course, Zelda being Zelda. As old as Zelda is, um, yeah. I mean, granted, they evolved along with everything. Like, Im Im imagine being this um, top-down, two D. Uh, like, yeah, they they can get away, but then you dip into those. Kinda, sort of, um, yeah, like icky games, but yeah, it, it wouldn't sell. Like Zelda, like, like I mean, the, their whole thing is like this is open world, right? Like th this is part of the map, right here, like. The, the map can even fit fully onto the screen um, if, if you wanted to. So, and then now that they came up with uh, ba basically giving us, if I can get my map, they're, they're going to add in like a sky map, basically where you go to different islands all over the place. You get your surface area which has its own areas um, based on the previous game. Um, and then soon enough we'll, we'll dive deep down into these chasms and that's gonna be 
its own like world thing as well so i mean granted they can upgrade now um but yeah like definitely and this this is definitely a main series game um like what i said with the the off brand thingies um a good example for it especially in the zelda franchise would be um the hero warriors which is like a, a hack and slash game it's also set within the zelda franchise but it's not like main game series this is definitely uh main games that we're talking about here so just like I thought, the weapons have to have all the gate too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about weapons? Hey, it's a new face. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I have explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'll be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in her rule. There are also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is to strengthen them. So it didn't work, but the picture was so pushed in so much I couldn't play. I have the same exact thing going on with um uh, with the tomb raider series like i i have all of the games like including the new ones and i i can't play the meter um as sad as it is i can get around uh like like the whole vibe feel of, of the things, so yeah. Oh well. Let me take the soldier spear with me then, and uh. Oh, that's a. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need that torch at some point. I think I did. Uh. I think I recall something like that. And I, I need this torch. It's gonna break though. What if you merge a soup level with a torch? You get a a bigger soup spoon, basically. Whoa. I like be careful when you upgrade your system because you might lose all your favorite games. Uh, yeah, that's one thing that I love about Steam is that it's a collected. Um, Mm. Oh. Comp companies and money uh, oracle that's just the, the simple explanation for it um, capitalism mm, is sadly still a thing in uh, 2023 but yeah that's never gonna get away if he doesn't come down from the gatehouse soon, maybe I'll go up to the captain myself. Hmm. So he's up in the gatehouse. I mean, do I really have to climb over it? What did this guy say? Oh, he just talked about uh, the decay weapons. So... Mm. 
Hmm. Maybe I should get up. Somehow. But they are uh, like... Mm. I mean, I, I'm glad that more and more companies like are stepping away from being like, no, we're gonna make our game exclusive to this console. Um, I'm, I'm glad that we're breaking that barrier. Uh, e e even though, like, I'm, I'm playing one of those companies right now that's like, nope, we're doing our own thing and people are going to buy it because we're exclusive. Like, yep, you got your uh, Animal Crossing, that's never going to come to other consoles. Your Zelda games are never going to come to other consoles. And your Mario stuff is never going to come to others. Like, yeah. Um, consoles, so... My favorite in all Justic. Ah, oh, that's... Oracle, that's even tougher than asking me what my favorite Disney movie is. Like, I... <laughs> I've been grown up, um... Like, when I, when I was like a year and a half old, and I, I stopped putting things in my mouth really fast, um, my dad found it funny to give me the controller of his uh, Sega. Um, so I've, I've been playing from like one and a half years old. Um, like there was this game with a rabbit that I really loved on that. Like I, well, it's, it's not, not me that owns it. But it's going to go towards me, um, like as as a family heirloom, so to speak. And it's it's um, like in a neat little arcade game about Donkey Kong. But like the very first Donkey Kong game is on there, and it's pretty unique and rare that console. So yeah. I mean, my, my uncle has it now. It was from my granddad. And, like, my uncle even told me to to get it for me now. Like, they, they would have passed it on to me. But I'm like, well, I can wait for it. Like, it it's a battery-powered thing with, like, those... You know those, those massive chunky batteries they they need to go like six inside of there to run it and it's just like the most oh god i don't even know what it's called it's like a a mini basically a mini arcade game like full-on arcade style and everything like like with the the, the little handle and the little two buttons and it's just Donkey Kong like like the first Donkey Kong mm? Princess Zelda she's safe wait what Zelda is over there oh it's just another another illusion thing huh Indeed, Hose. Wait, what? You saw the two link? You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. This... This is an emergency situation. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible, considering what we're just witnessed I think it makes sense for us to withdraw but we will take a bit please you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible oh? 
Princess Zelda, this is a painting into the light. I don't understand. Oh. That was the most certainly Princess Zelda. We must inform Pura about this as soon as possible. Link, I apologize for the burn, but can you be the messenger and let her know? There's a lot of us up here, so it will take some time to withdraw. Thank you for the help. Well, I was glad to be of service. Uh, like, please. Now I am your errand boy? Uh, it's... It's, <laughs> it's not a trick, because yeah. she, she spoke to us. Um, so we're not being fooled by anyone. It's just so strange that, uh, yeah. That she didn't talk at all to us now. Like, she, she did help ask us for help uh, earlier on. <laughs> Unlike the guy who gave his arm to, to save our life. Basically, a, a god. Um, he he told us that Princess Zelda was safe as well, so don't think it's a trap. It's, it's more like an illusionary thing that she's casting. Um, but yeah, still still pretty strange to see her all of a sudden like that without. Is she telling us anything? Like not even like your clothes or something like that? It's just... Ah, I'm here. Bye. Ah, come on, is there, can I, is there really no fast travel? I mean, there, there has to be a fast travel, right? Is this my real voice or my chibi's voice? <laughs> what do you think? Like honestly, now I'm curious what you think. The voice sounds Asian, no offense, I don't know Asian culture, but I don't imagine you as Asian. Uh, what? Walking trees? What's happening? 
Sir, Sir Tree, I, I only have a, a wooden spoon here, so... I keep pressing the wrong buttons. God, stop that. Stop pressing the wrong buttons. There I go. Rocket Rhino Beetle. High tail lizards. Oh. Catch him. Catch him. Catch him all. Catch him all. They're gonna be hard to get otherwise. A sturdy thick stick. Wow. A bumping willow. Yeah. Now what am I going to drop for this? That's a Zonite Spear. That's a Soldier Spear. Maybe just a Hallboard, to be fair. And now I missed that merchant. Oh god. Go back. Wait for me. Ooh. A warm darner. This dragonfly has special organ that causes it to sweat profusely. Cook it with monster parts for an elixir that will raise your core temperature so you can resist the cold. Oh, that's good. Hello. <coughs> Hi there. Welcome to the rolling pastures. Not a fan of this weather, are you? Rain seems to make everyone upset, but not me. I found the sound of it smoothing. Besides... There's an ass. There's some animals who only come out when it's raining, and plants need that moisture. Ah. Now, how about some sampling of Hanato Village's finest? Oh boy, what do you got? A brilliant may. Well, I'm. Uh, I can. Buy anything because uh, ah. don't have the monies for it. But can I sell some stuff maybe? Um, no, because I don't know what things to sell her besides some food. Seven rupees, nineteen, five. It's worth three, that's worth uh, twelve. Nah. Oh. It's not worth selling anything yet. Hey Kristoff. How are you doing? Oh, I assume you're still doing good. I mean... Almost home at work, even. Maybe you are even home, I don't know.
The fun thing about it is that I don't even own the game. But I, uh, yeah, I'll I'll come on watch a little bit. The Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. Um, like you have your stuff in between, and then you have your icy lands, the the deserty lands. Um, yeah, I can see that oracle. Hmm. Sure. Link, well, did you find anything? What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle, and then she transformed into light and flew off. I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I gotta believe hmm. it. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upper evil for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll be picking up clues about where she's flew off to as we look around. Oh yeah, you still got that pure part, right? Can I see it for a sec? It's a little worse for weird, but it seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Oh, right. I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from it right around localite landing. And for that, we need our sky view tower. Josa, what's with the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Uh -huh. Hmm, let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. But the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs twerk. <laughs> needs tweaking. I was gonna read twerking. Sounds <laughs> like I better get cracking. Yeah, go girl. Mm -hmm. Twerk it. <laughs> Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick. So just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you... Rest up, you must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just a spot for you. It has free beds and has kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, talk to the soldier who is watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, mm -hmm. you should go to Mops shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. All right, Josa. Let's work our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel Check. point. Josa, you're in charge of the switch. <laughs> Okay, Doc, you can count on me. Um, it it sort of feels like this way, like that way, but generally the the people are really trying to help us figure everything out. Can I... I think I just can freely cook things here, so... Let's see what we can cook. Um, to restore stamina, a bit of health, that's good. So I'm gonna grab one of those and then... Uh, yeah, 
sure. Okay. There we go. Cook those up. Fish and mushroom skewer. A simple dish made by cooking screwed fresh fish alongside fragrant mushrooms. Uh, we're not gonna sit there. We're gonna cook some more. Let's see. What if we. Harold Buzz in there. Um, some other meat, maybe. An acron and some honey. Uh, stamina recovery effect. Well, well, we'll see what that makes. Oh wow! Energizing glazed meat instantly fills some of your stamina wheel. The sweetness of the honey permeates the meat. Giving it a complex taste profile. Oh, so that was because I added honey in there. Okay, got you. This organ fly has a special organ that causes the sweet profusely cook it with monster parts for an elixir that will release your cold. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. A mysterious leaf. That looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has some of med medicinal value. That shit to a stick and it can be used as a fan. Oh, that's cool. Boost your defense. <laughs> Speed boosting. Nah. Let's see, that's blinding. Um, Trying to be preservative about the materials that I'm having. <coughs> uh. WS food, it's too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues from the heap. Eating it won't hurt you enough. Probably. <laughs> Oh god. I can get another heart here. I think. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing in exchange for four lights of blessing, I will amplify your being. So tell me, what is your desire? I mean, more stamina? Or a health container. Oh wow. To be honest, stamina then please. An important item that restores some of the stamina you lost to the gloom, increasing the size of your stamina wheel. Okay, so that's... What, about one-fifth that it filled? Uh, at least one. Well, it's notable. It's, it's noticeable... Uh, longer, so yeah. Good choice. Good choice that I made. Mm. 
Another good choice to make would be um, pulling out another weapon here. Hmm. If I put this here and then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh -huh. That should do it. Ah. Hey, Link. You all set? I just wrapped up myself. Travel point is working fine now, or it will be. Why don't you do your part? Hey! We're ready, Josa. Pull the switch. Hey! Oh, that was what the device was for. I've been there this morning, and I wondered what I was doing. <laughs> well, all of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. All of them? Yeah. Okay, Link, your turn. Mm -hmm. Go halt the Pyropet over the terminal. Alright, the sky view tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every sky view tower you add to your pure pad. Impressive, right? But sky view towers are about more than just traveling quickly. Their primary function is to survey the area. Or more simply put, to make a map. The Puropad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, hmm? hmm? Only thing is, you need... You need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested it out yet. Uh, we needed you. Which brings us to this. Paraglider. This item given to you by Pura lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X in midair to activate it. Mm -hmm. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test scan. Now it's just time for our very first test launch. I mean, our very first test. Just step over there, into the circle, and find me afterward, alright? Huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. When, the scan, when the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has been wrecked the most havoc. Best of luck. Uh, so I I guess up I go. Hello. Ooh. 
Wee. Right, anyone gonna tell me something about this or uh So that's how we're able to get all the data. I see. Clever. Surface map has been updated. There we go, that's nice. Sky map updated. That's pretty cool. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you go a proper map scan? Huh. Good, the map is crucial to our research. There are sky view towers in every region in the world. You want to make a point of visiting yes. them all. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of some strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally there's... Lana... Lanario to the east, the strange phenomena <laughs> are concentrated in four regions. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Hmm. Hey Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at a brittle village over in Herpa recently. Hmm. That's pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay. But this does sound like it's worth looking into. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before I forgot, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the going on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way too. I'll be here, directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms and new ruins. I'll also be looking into different villages. Some, someone somewhere might have known what happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm cutting and you check out the major phenomena that are the troubling regions about her ruling. Ah, oh, thanks, Chris. All for, uh, yeah. We find Princess Zelda one way or another. Well, in in the previous game, um, um, there were like four titans that bound um, the bad guy into the castle, um, defeating those giants, while well, freeing them actually from their spells. Um, they weakened the end boss, so I'm, I'm thinking it's a, a bit of the same story 
with this though I'm, I'm not really not really too sure yet what is going on here because there was a mummy uh, in the start so it might be in, um, the remains but I'm, I'm not too sure if, if that is what is going on so we might actually see the the like four titans once more maybe in in their bestial form or something like that because they were pretty mechanical before but yeah um i'm not too sure where this story is leading up to thank you tina do appreciate that um problem is I, I kinda wanna go in inside of the chasm. I'm I'm not up for uh going on about with the the searching tower thingies and, and the story continuation. I wanna get down. Ah, what a fine afternoon. Oh, it's you. You know, the pure part of yours may seem perfect, but it could be even more perfect. I need to head back to the lab when Joshua gets the, dep the, the depths investigation sorted out. Come on, Goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. No way, now how? You can't do that. The depths are far too fast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms but no matter how wondrous they may be it's far too dangerous for you i'm not about to allow your young prodigy to wander around somewhere so unknown so far if anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student it'd be the end for me the end. Ah. But I need more on a figure. If you have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. What figure? Ah. Oh, sportsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Yeah. Uh, let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. This piece of slate specifically the image is pictured on it. You see the figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that mysterious people once lived in the depths. That's why I want to go down there, so I can see if there are many more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. But Cuckles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on the slate. And Link will join me. We'll start looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we'll find what we're looking for, we'll use pure as bad camera to take a picture of it for just yeah, a perfect plan. Camera? You don't know about a camera? It's one of the pure but basic features. With a camera you can capture near nearby scenery as an image. One that is stored into your pad there. Sounds 
like you still have more to learn about the Puripad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures. Once we're down there, anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depth though. So I'll be counting you. So I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter to the chasm to the south of the lookout landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ta da! What? Wait, hang on. Huh. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry. You got roped into all of this, horseman. Goggles means well, but he wants to help me. He leaves before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out, at least. Oh, some, some lightning seeds, that's good. Oh, and take this too. Some arrows. Jasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it will light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you want to head straight out of the lookouts landing south eastern southern gate. No eastern what a <laughs> you'll find the chasm goggles just outside. I don't know much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh and please look after goggles for me. Well, at least I'm going down into the chasms, so can be really complaining about the story element to it. Uh. Looks Egyptian. Yeah, it, it does. Like the the inlay um, from the fake physical um, version that I have, pretty much uh, the picture this. And this also seems uh, like like the same things going on there. So I I think it's it's supposedly going to be defender or on on how the war ended or something like that. That's gonna be on there. These are just some pictures I took from the beginning um, of the game. So when we were down there exploring um, beneath the castle Hyrule with Zelda, um, we came up to those. And I accidentally have taken that. Ah, Foxy. Oh, shit. Hey, Mr. Foxy. Can I pet you? No, you're too shy. Bye. Aztec or me, yeah. Well, I mean, to be honest, I think they're going with like um, those civilizations because they were like lost, um, lost over time. So, yeah. Well, I mean, of course, it's a... Uh... Like hieroglyphs and... The kinds of it always speak to humans' imagination. So... I mean, fair enough that they went with... That type of... Uh, design for it, so... The lovely place. Hey. How about no? Thank you. Come again. What are you doing? I hope they're okay. Hey there. You're a bit late. Hmm. Oh, 
You're not a member of the Monster Control crew. Sorry. We just formed, so I'm not overly familiar with everyone's oh. faces. As we speak, Squad 1 of the Monster Control crew, led by Hoss, is carrying out a mission nearby. Ah. If you go south on that road, you can see him in action. They're assaulting a monster stronghold. I'm just here for the logical stuff. Tending the ho to the horses, making elixirs. Come think of it, I did make some extra elixir. Why don't you take some? Might come in handy during your travels. Candeli, mm. I'm a little worried about this mission. The new members didn't get much in the way of training. I wish someone with experience fighting monsters was there to help out. Ooh. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied to deal with travels right now. That's what you are, right? A traveler? It isn't safe here. Captain Hoss, squad of the monster control crew, is going to engage monsters around here soon. I bet you by now they're already locked in combat with that monster at the liar to the south. I'm not going to stop you if you want to go and watch the sparks fly, but at least take some precautions first. Lynx make ready use of the jump slash, leaping into the air and swinging his weapon down with a practiced ease. All crew members should be diligent in their daily training and aspire toward that level of mastery, Captain House. Taking out monsters south of here by the Harul Garrison ruins. Captain Hose, Monster Control Crew Squad 1. Good. Anything inside the tent? No. Anything behind here that I can take other than the sword that's lying around here? Did he already went down or am I just going oh. insane? Oh, hey, you again. I told you not to sneak up on me. Can't you see I'm right on the edge of this chasm? My colleague who works with me in the zone I serve team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him? Huh? Oh. Huh? Don't startle me again. I'm deep on my investigation work at the moment. Well, I guess only one way to find out. I'm scared. Oh wow, it is. It is pretty deep. Pretty dark down here. Wow, little girl wasn't lying about pitch black. God, it's awfully dark. The dots. Pleasure to meet you. I am Phonic from the Zorai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. Uh. But he rushed along with just haste 
I didn't bring enough Brightloom seeds and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that gloomy area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. And last I saw him, he was heading way out of there. Off to the west. Do you have any bright loom seams with you? Yeah, I do. Ah, oh, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'll be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know? You can easily get a bright loom seeds from the caves and they'll light up if struck. So, they're pretty easy to use too. We use these seeds all the time to the Zone Eye survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Ah. Those of us are skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance down here. Oh. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. Now, I'm not gonna waste arrows, I'm just gonna throw them around. Um, but I do need to select them first here, so... I have no idea what I'm doing, but... Think I just activated something? Oh god, that's bright. And this game is very enjoyable. Root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Oh. Well, actually, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually pretty down here. Like, first, that was scary, but now. <laughs> Horses, right? Um. Oh, I don't have the camera up yet. Okay, so from from this guy, he told me he went in this direction. Then he went camping and then camping again. Yeah, they did. Hey, you. It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can see hardly. I really should have brought some Brightloom seeds with me. As of one of the few sources of light, the growing loot 
growing down from above has peak my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing route. I see shining in the west of here. So you better hurry up and get moving. Oh, that one. Well, that's pretty cool how they did it. Don't touch the bread stuff because it's basically like lava. It's no lava, but it's... Deep Firefly. A multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescence. Thingy my poppers and it can light. Or something. I don't know what the effect is if you cook it though. Hey you, still alive? Look like this place is, swarm is swimming in gloom. Get too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. If guy didn't have any bright looms, it'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here so I haven't kicked the bucket. So I'm sure you'll be fine. I've just spotted something of interest to my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshua wants us to find. I'll be continuing to head west towards one of those gloaming routes I see ahead. See you soon. Oh, it is a working camp mount. Oh, that's cool. How do I get past that? What are this? What are this? What are this? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just collecting samples. Come on. Oh, Zonite? Well, if the old man is still alive, I have some questions to him as to how he. Manage to keep alive. Because I clearly didn't. Oh wow, oh, 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 no, 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 please, please don't. I need to pass even more of those guys. No, thank you. A puff shroom. A mushroom that spreads a cloud of fine spores when stimulus is applied. The bitter power makes them inedible. Come <laughs> on. 
So now I do get my horse back. There he is. How did you make it over here? What? Look at how bright that thing got. That light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. This statue is standing tall on two legs, one hour raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua shows us on the piece of slate, don't you think? Alright, get a camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. Ah, that's right, I forgot you hadn't used the camera when you last spoke. Very curious indeed. Given it's one of the PuraPod's basic features. Hmm, give that PuraPod for a second, alright? Well, there's the problem. Your camera is locked. And so is your high room compendium. Hang on, if I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this and then you tap that and... Capture images using the pure pad, you can then save them to the album. Okay, that's the compendium. Okay, good. Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. It's a good chance to verify that it's working probably too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher after all. Once you kept the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Hey you, how'd that go? If you captured an image of the stage with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. It looks like a bear, yeah, it does. So, did you get a good picture? Stupendous! Looks like you've captured it well. Um, sure, Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up the man's fruit, getting us a picture of the statue. You just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. See you at the lookout landing. That makes Joshua wait too long for that picture. Well, old man, why don't you stay here for once and just show us about our findings?
Image added to the Haru Compendium. The Arokura. Child to her rule compendium, Zonai the Posit. That's cool. Okay, and what about the, the little guy in front of it? Goblin. What's with the stuff that I, I had an exclamation mark above it? Well, plus B Oracle. Thank you for hanging out. I'm just gonna end up this cave adventure and then I'm going to the stop as well because I do want to have some food and then uh, probably go and watch some friends play some games More. Okay, so I can scan the weapons as well. Mm. Oh, please work. No, it's not going to work. 
the way as I wanted to. What's that figure up here? This is pretty much uh, yucky. It's low key, I need to be down here, but I don't have the weapons to to survive long enough here. That's uh Oh and I have to retake pictures of everything. Like are are you for real? Come on. That's the zone I deposit. That's the moblin. And then... That's the bokoblin. Exactly. Good. Nice. Flower with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell. Friend from Fu. What's up with this mysterious figure?
Traveler Sword, a very common sword often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's very durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. I still don't have it. Oh god. What? Ah, come on. Finally. I'm doing this just because I know there's a feature where you can scan those now. A poo. Lol. A glowing spirit out found all over the depths. Offered these to a bargainer statue for a variety of rewards. Oh wow. Okay. So do I now? Scan the depot or whatever. That's uh, a throwing spear. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> not again. Got. How stupid can it be? Come on! Like honestly I don't... I don't even know what I collected up till this point. So I do have the bomb flowers it seems like. Okay, so I don't see any poo thingies. Um, oh, they're in here. So yeah, okay, basically I would have had everything till the encounter with those guys. Okay, so now get them. So the stack all open. That's good. Good, good, good. Come on. God, I keep forgetting that I have a boat to deal with those guys. Let's try to take 
that's gonna be the the spear, I think. Yeah, good. Now from him. There we go. Assembling again? What? Oh god. Of course something stupid would happen. But was he really so cursed that he was assembling itself again? Oof. gonna be nothing. A spear of throwing with a decayed tip. Lost the sharpness but kept perfect balance for throwing enabling you to throw it far. Scuttle arm that keeps moving either if it's severed from its body it's kind of gross to strap it to your back but I'll do it in a pinch it's old fragile so quick to break that's the thing okay I do want to take a picture of this if I'm allowed to no Ah, oh, come on. Do I have it? No.
Should I drop? Are these like really tameable? Hog, hog. They are, oh my god. Hog, hog. Hey broke, how's it going? Making pizza and having a beer sounds wonderful. Yeah, I, sh I should be wrapping up by now, but I'm still exploring, so. But I'm doing good. Doing good otherwise. Can I travel through? Oh. Oh well this this is neat. A bit cheeky but neat. So the skeleton horses <laughs> do make can travel over the gloom without being uh affected by it.
<laughs> yeah, right. Sure could use some milk. Good and well, but how do I even get up? Um, like I, I didn't really consider about going up again. So if I travel with a with a mount, is the mount just gonna travel with me? At least Loki, that's what I'm hoping that it will do. Um. If not, I'm going to make a save. Just to make sure that I can return to this point if I want. Like, you got one. Like if I press save, save progress. Ah, I get it. I only get one save. Oh well, fair enough. I, c I could use the sand, but the problem is I'm on my horse. Um, I, I do want to take the mount up. The uh, sand ability is, is probably good. Yeah, sure. Then I do have it. Um, it it's just... Now let's see what happens if we travel with a mount. I know before they ended up in the stable. Like if if you um, travel to a stable, that your mount would be in the stable where you fast travel to, if there was a stable. So I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work over in here. Throw the horse up to the surface. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't be probably not that of a bad idea. Who are you? Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to be the first one ever to be launched from a sky view tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Link, you say. Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hi buddy. <laughs> you get the same name as that famous sportsman. Ha! <laughs> Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to though. Ah. And I'm Pan, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work, our newspaper is short on staff, so I had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter, you should join us, you seem like a brave type and all. That what it's take. Um, our news reporter is based, our new, oh god, messing up. Our newspaper is based in Herba, to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime in newspaper pests. Until then, so long. Bye. The boat horse on the <laughs> Lol. That's funny. <gasps> I'm 
The well is open. Yay. I should have taken pictures of those. The Royal Claymore. A large sword now dedicated issued to the Royal Family's Guard. It's tuned for skilled users and yields powerful flurry rush, turning a perfect dodge. Um. Hmm. I get rid of the George. Be fine without one. Peekaboo. <laughs> what? Think. Welcome. Welcome. Call me Monte. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter. We're all welcome. Please stay as long as you like. Hi. How are? This place was the royal family shelter, so they probably have hidden a pathway. Even so. I talked to all of these before. Pretty sure I did. No problem.
So those are the missing posters that was... Okay. Hey you, so we just about the picture you took from the statue, this figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool too. Hey. This is it, there's as much what's on the fragment, yeah. thank you sportsman, just like the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, however, whoever they were. <laughs> Have a pleasant trip home, Chris. And uh, be safe out there. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depth. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh. But before I focus on that, there is something I want to give you as so thanks for helping me with this stage of the, my investigation. Or earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think of it? Five zonite? That's cool. I feel as if there's... I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power. Like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, that might help in your search for Princess Zelda. So hopefully you'll find them useful. <laughs> that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our survey has brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles? Swordsman? <laughs> and thank you so far much for coming to investigate the depths for me.
Silent Princess, this lovely flower was said to have been favorite of the princes of Hyrule. They were once feared to have gone extinct, but it's not uncommon to spot them growing in the wild. I dedicate this monument to the ceremony of the lost souls to the almighty Zelda. Also, this is after the um, the Almighty incident of the last game that happened. Now oh, that's that's cool and neat. What is this? What are you doing? Oh. Ah! Oh! 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 Darn it all! President Hudson, are you okay? Oh no, what have I done? <sighs> Alright, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I want... I won't let you fall over again. <coughs> that was unforgivable. It's all your fault. Starting me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson. So I pin the blame on you. <coughs> Unforgivable. <coughs> you haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of a construction company. He's T1. Appointed by the princess herself. And she placed him in, cha in charge of putting those material cages everywhere. And now he's shouldering her rules restoration. Of course, he is also the founder of Hudson Construction. And besides all that. <coughs> hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this enough. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission, and that's to put up these signs all over the place to let everyone know that Hudson Construct is a big deal. There aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. <laughs> These portrait Mr. Hudson himself in detail, noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over, and so, I have pledged to support him. Don't worry Mr. Hudson, I'm here for you. Hi Scott. But I can stand here forever. I've got so many things more signs to spread around i don't know what to do um try letting go what are you going to support him all right i'll let it go <gasps> Wah, unforgivable <laughs> president hassan i support you what can i That I was going to fail this badly. <laughs> so what do I do with it? Because uh, I need to support the other side then.
How do I support? What? Huh? How? Shield away, I need to put that away. Here we go. How do I need to put better put the bow away also? Um. He, he's standing. How is the president standing? What a brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All right. Let's get him secured while he is still standing. Hey, Abigail. Just put this right there. Get that fastened. And... Perfect. Wow. <laughs> That's totally the depiction of perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing well on his own. Take this with my thanks. 20 rupees. Ah, that's good. It's the red luster tickles your heartstrings. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Veggie rice bowls. This home style dish of Kokorio village is stuffed with bound the bounty of the mountains. <laughs> Ah, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something for my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. A sleepover ticket? Mm -hmm. A lodging voyager for a regular stable bed. A reward for collecting pony points. Spend it at a stable to get some rest and recover from the fatigue of travel. Ah. Oh, now I can go to the other places to put up more signs, and with that, I am off. Oh, that's cool.
Is it the fox that I have? No, keep the old picture. There we go, that should be the fox. Yeah, the grassland fox, there we go. That's neat. So now if I do this, I might take... Oop. It should be the picture of the bed. No, it's not. Keep the old one. There we go. Now I got the keys. That's good. Awesome. Some spicy pepper. The blue herb. Hey, Linky. Ah, uh, popping by to make an appearance. I don't see many visible injuries, so you must be holding up okay out there. Have you made any progress on investigating the four regions, like I asked? There's another village that might come yield more answer, so I'm directing to an investigation into what's go going on there. Uh, what other village? Kakoria village, home of the Shika tribe. It's off to the southeast in the Nekluda region. Zoya ruins, each is sharp, shaped like a ring, fell directly on top of the village. Hmm. There's gotta be a special reason for it. Right now, the Zonai service team lead or taking on the investigation. If you want to know more about the Zonai, you should talk to them. If you want more info, talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. He helps Boy, the monster control crew squads to where they needed, and as extensive geographical knowledge, he can tell us more about than I can about the various regions and peoples. Hmm. Anyways, I can get help from the research division for this, but I'm entrusting the investigation of the four regions with the phenomena to you. Check it. I had fun, but you gotta go. Oh, that's no problem, bro. Have a good day, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. And I'm gonna get all of your, you guys, uh, links in at the end. Oh. It's just that I'm. I'm kind of wrapping up, sort of. Ah, 
this? What support? No, nope, it was not him. Not Ganari, not Ansel. Nothing. No. Nope. This guy? That was. Ah, Link. You might be heading out. Red when the night monsters begin to bruise. Brave of you, as always. It could be a complicating factor if you get lost during your travels. Please make sure to check your destination. I'm quite confi confident in my knowledge of the rules, peoples and places. So if there's anything you're wondering about its various peoples or their towns and villages, please ask. Mm. There has been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters inside the upfall as well. Be careful out there. I got great, but that didn't help me at all. Burning the candle at both ends, hmm, Link. I appreciate you taking the time to visit the Monster Control HQ. Recently, Pura has asked that we suspend our involvement in the research for Princess Zelda. So we resumed our primary mission to hunt down the monsters that, w that have been running rampant since the upheaval. All three squads are out on expeditions at the moment. They've been gathering, they've been sharing updates with us. Hull squads, Doran squads, and Flaxel squad of the Monster Control crew are taking down monsters around all Hyrule. Uh. Hull squad is hunting monsters in the Hyrule field to the south of the lookout landing. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Want to know what were what's when it, my other squads? Oh. Doran squad is on the north side of that mountain. Heading for a cave discovered at Lake Darman, which is used to be a lava lake but has ever since stopped flowing. They're taking out monsters nesting in the cave, so if you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. The Flexel uh. Squad is hunting monsters in the Faron to the south. They're aiming to subdue the pirate ship on the Manot River to the south of the Lake Helia which is west of the Highland Stable. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out. Nope, uh. never mind. The Monster Control Crew is made up of everyday folk who volunteer to protect people from monsters. Some are accustomed to battle, while others... Hmm. And not much so. Receiving support from you out there in the field with the wonders for their morale, Link. Yeah, pretty sure that it would have been. Just dropped in and leaving me a like. Oh, thank you, Wesley. Why is Link dripping? Because he's what? <laughs> Nah, just it, it's it's ra it was raining outside a well, little. Uh, it it isn't anymore, but it was raining, so yeah. He was wet from the rain. And it takes him quite a while to actually um, stop dripping. So yeah. Is that the moon passing by that island? That gave uh, a cool shadow.
Zola, of course. You know who else would make him dripping wet, right? Looks happy and so am I. Yeah, yeah, oh. We're starting a new job. What job? You can start a new job for me. Oh no, yay, we're picking up speed. Now it's gonna go faster. Oh god. Run, lady, run. Oh, stand still. Gonna get us killed. No. Wes, they're hitting me. Tattoo, oh, tattooing. Even still, you're not allowed. You didn't ask me. Didn't ask for permission. To make money. What do you mean you have to make money? You don't have to make money. You're rich enough as this. Ah, uh, yeah, true. <laughs> I mean, sure, and like, tattooing has been a hobby of yours, so. I, I guess that's. Well, I, I know it's up your alley. Stuff. And I'm assuming that's in your new shop, right? Like I, I think you mentioned about um, having having a new shop. So that's pretty. Can I afford this game yet in my country? Yes. Well, I mean, expensive. It's Zelda, so um, I mean, I'm I'm expecting it's not gonna be any cheaper. Um, not at least for up until local Christmas sales, maybe. But then they're gonna sell it by a loss because Nintendo doesn't lower prices on Nintendo um, Switch games. Certainly not on triple A games. Um, so yeah, I mean, can be all here waiting for super long, but like even Breath of the Wild is almost still at his, uh, at his price that it was before. So.
There we go, five arrows. Nice. Hey, ninety This way. I always get really confused with how to turn these things. Over a thousand bucks? I'm gonna be fair for the base uh, version of the game. Uh, I pretty much paid uh, 70 euros, but still. That's really expensive bus. God. And how much you're selling at the two for? Oh, that's gonna work better. Just get fun on its belly. I'm not even sure why I'm attaching this, but I'm, I'm assuming that's gonna be the puzzle that I have to do. What do you mean, YouTube? You're not getting enough video. So therefore, it might be laggy for some of the players. What? Why is that? There should be nothing in the way from it. And yet. stuff in reverse or can I can I revert no that's not reverse though <laughs> well maybe if I was deeper into the game I, I would have been able to jump over it but Let's see. Let's give it a 
Move the platform while standing on it. What do you think? That I'm a wizard or something? Now see the thing is I gotta move this in, in, into place first. And now I have to uh, make sure that that goes back in time. So that it basically opens this up again. Like, ow, 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 ow. Wes! I blame you, Wes. You made me do it. God! <laughs> and now I lost the device. <laughs> well, one thing is for sure, I'm not going back for that one, so... <laughs> Oh god, it was fast. going to happen. To be honest, I was even surprised that it worked. So uh, great. Now what? Anything up here? See if I left anything behind or so. Um, I'm gonna guess these belong on here. Just making sure that they're pointing in the right direction. Oh, come on, that's not enough. <laughs> Before we were flying all of this, you know? All of a sudden, it's in you. Not enough power. 
Oh. Mm. Wait, I see what I have to do. I have to unhook this. Like so. Okay, good. And take one of those things out. I have to go through them. So, touch them in there. Now, now let's just go yeet very fast all of a sudden. Beep. Now, use this thing to make it come back here like that. We stop it. Hey. Oh, that was a cool way to traverse. And I do get another light thingy, so that's good. What the heck happened? To what? They are very strange. Um, but yeah, I, I like them all, so they're in a way a bit more challenging than in Breath of the Wild. Though Breath of the Wild got some pretty, um, like especially those, those later ones, like on the outskirts of the map, there were some pretty difficult ones there. Um, but I think there's gonna be a lot more harder puzzles in there with the abilities that we have now so yeah never played a Zelda game before seen gameplay of other Zelda games but never played one myself lol yeah well I mean be before I, I decided to uh, Oracle as well she came in and she was like hey about the shortener and stuff and uh, yeah well i mean in in a way you gotta have to own a switch to start with um then granted nintendo did support hdmi so we were able to connect uh like our uh elgato devices to it to stream from it or game capture devices. Um, but then yeah, that's still Nintendo. So I mean, like like you said as well, uh, the, the prices, yeah, I don't expect the prices to go ever down for this Zelda game. Um, if, if they even would dare, they would even up the price with a, a game engine but yeah luckily they don't do that though they are smart enough to let that go to be like okay yeah no uh we don't need that to go that way my friend and i got separated oh no well he, he his old tunic is still in the game, like uh, Darklink and stuff. You might know Darklink. Um, but yeah, like Majora's Mask is also somewhere hidden here. Um, oh, I did get a fox already, did I? And that's more, more pretty, so I'm gonna keep that one. But no, yeah, honestly, yeah. Um, kind of forgot what I was saying. I mean, that there's stuff in there that does look way better than 
the original games look like, that's for sure. <laughs> you on the front there you go uh, I lowkey forgot where his friend was Smoke signal. Okay, that's good. Uh, Would I be able to steer this in this way? Hi Papa! I don't have the materials yet, Corruptor. I'm still at the very, very beginning of the game. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Yay! Two Korok seeds. Bye. I know nothing about this game. Yeah, well. If there's one thing you you mm. I wouldn't say you would have to know it, but one thing you should kinda know is that it's it's become bigger than Breath of the Wild basically and Breath of the Wild in itself was a pretty a pretty hefty game uh, spender like 200 hours I think upon full completion in it and this has well on, on the map it basically has the same overworld map or kinda the same overworld map uh, but then it has the the depths map and it has a sky map added to it so all of those little islands you see in the sky you can visit and, and do stuff on um, and then there's the downside where it was before um, so yeah this it's gonna be a pretty lengthy game if you wanna 100% complete it Although there's not really a point to 100% completed. 
um, because Nintendo doesn't work with uh, trophy systems. I bet you can can get some sort of um, warts out of them, like special outfits and stuff if you do complete it. And otherwise, the, the game can be like, "Hey, well, you did it. Good job. Good for you. You found two hundred and Kokoroks. Well, that's that's neat. Here you go." Take a stone, and that's it. <laughs> but now, nah, mostly are rewarded well. Um, was that another shooting star? That's cool. And buddy, I I just helped you in town with uh, keeping that stuff up. I, I mean, yeah. Okay, I see the construction site. Where I can hopefully steal a plank from or something to keep it up. Gotta get off now and do the rest of my Yeah, okay. I'll see you later, Wes. Have a good night. Have a good day at work tomorrow. And uh let me know how it went. Is this going to fit? No. Nope. Well, it's basically already falling over itself, so... I hope that's gonna hold.
Do I have to? Oh, there's stuff down here too that I can maybe use. Get it. It makes a floor. Cut the floor. Oh. So I can basically drop that. Let's see what's on. Oh, those are cool. An energy cell boost. The zone I charge with massive energy stored within. Put it in the zone and device dispenser or use it temporarily. Okay, good. Sure, this will hold up. How's the president standing? Ah. Well, kind of fell a bit, but 
That was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Halston is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Another 20 rupees, that's good. Also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Some ah. more spicy meatballs. And parchments. Oh. You okay? Um, I'm gonna go inside the temple, and then next time, um, I'll start off from here, and then I'll try to continue a bit more of the story as well. Um, but like, yeah, three three hours in, and I did only like what like another percentage of uh, the main story so expect long streams for this game guys um, fixed device yeah, I don't even know how to start this like as soon as I walked in here and I was like hmm difficulty nice Good, add some difficulty in there. There we go. Um, now, one thing I have to do is, is link link a bunch of you guys. Link link a totally awesome bunch of you guys. Uh, Bill, we had Corruptor. We had a. Uh... Oh, Lilo. <laughs> hey, Lilo. <laughs> I'm just wrapping up, sweetie. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, it should be a little Lelura, like so. And then it's um, who else? Do I need to pop in there? Wes? 99. Uh, I don't even know if I have 99s. Uh, command yet. Nope. So that's one that I'm gonna grab. And uh I don't know guys, any any of you are live? Um I know Gasper is live. I'm so sorry, Lilo. Um, dun, 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 dun. let me see. Let me check. Casper and Blitz should be going. Um, like, go and check them out if you haven't done so. Oh no, they're still. They're still not going for uh, another half hour. That's Friday said eleven PM uh British time. And it's currently what? Twenty past ten there? So yeah. Hmm. Well anyway, I I still have to go, so not like that uh that I'm gonna 
keep continuing on playing. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I think broke. Uh, Uh, why not? Why not? Uh, let me let me send you over to broke. Hey, came in. Um, watch, watch a bit. And uh, I had to go, but apparently he's streaming himself. So There we go. And for the rest, uh, say goodbye to you all. Bye, my loves. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Really appreciate the six likes. And apparently the 44 views. Oh my god, where did those came from? But hey, whatever. Thank you all. Much love. Laters. No, wrong screen. Whoopsies. Oopsies. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope I see you all the next time. And uh, to make sure that you don't miss it, please subscribe, uh, leave a like, and leave a comment down below. And click the notification bell as uh, so you get notified when I go live next time. Um, down in the descriptions below, <laughs> there's a ton of links to my friends and other great content creators out there so yeah go watch them or watch one of these videos popping right up now on your screen so yeah see you later all bye my loves bye